Hi, my name is uh, Dr. Nathan Fowler from the MD Anderson Cancer Center. And I just wanted to share with you some of uh, the highlights from this year's SOHO regarding indole lymphoma. We had several speakers and we focused on some of the changes um, and some of the newer findings in uh, untreated low-grade lymphomas, uh, as well as uh, patients that uh, have new options now uh, in the relapse setting. Specifically, uh, over the past couple of years, we've seen uh, the introduction of some new immunomodulatory drugs and uh, new antibodies for patients with untreated follicular lymphoma. Uh, one of those drugs is obinutuzumab. Uh, we saw some phase three trials that showed that there was a benefit in progression-free survival when you substitute obinutuzumab for rituximab using a chemotherapy backbone. Now, those improvements in progression-free survival were uh, balanced with a slightly increased uh, toxicity profile, no difference in overall survival. But it's a great option for patients. Again, these newer generation uh, anti-CD20 uh, antibodies. We also saw the results of the, the relevance trial presented in the last few years, and that was uh, a randomized trial comparing uh, lenalidomide and rituximab compared to rituximab plus chemotherapy. And Turns out efficacy was almost identical between those um, two large arms. Uh, so I think uh, what we really highlighted at SOHO is that there are multiple treatment options available for patients with low-grade lymphoma, and a lot of those work. Uh, so I think that when we're talking to patients in uh, the newly diagnosed, or I should say untreated setting, it's important to discuss the side effects, the goals of therapy, because uh, thank goodness you know, we have a lot of very effective options. In the relapse setting, uh, the good news is there also is a lot of movement. Uh, we have several drugs that are currently FDA approved, including, including recently uh, another PI3 kinase inhibitor. There are now three that are uh, FDA approved. Uh, all of these drugs have progression-free survival around a year. We also saw recent approval uh, in the last year of lenalidomide and rituximab in the relapse setting, again, for relapse follicular lymphomas. And also, a brand new drug in its class, uh, tazometastat, which is an EZH2 inhibitor, also has significant activity in patients that have relapsed follicular lymphoma. Finally, um, like uh, although we're a little bit uh, behind the aggressive lymphomas and indolent lymphomas, we are now seeing studies uh, which are being presented showing really strong activity uh, for patients that have um, relapse disease using CAR T cell therapy along with other cellular therapies like the BITE product. So a lot of exciting things, both in the frontline and in the relapse setting for patients with uh, relapsed follicular lymphoma. A lot of these drugs have very different mechanisms of action, also different side effects. So uh, again, I encourage you to uh, tune in to some of the SOHO broadcasts where we overview uh, some of these different side effects, uh, the results from clinical trials that led to these drugs FDA approval, and some of the indications uh, for some of the novel drugs that are recently FDA approved or will be coming down the pipeline soon. Thanks again for your attention.